a little game pressure. That was good. Uh, you know, that was you know that was one of those grinded out ones. And uh, as I told him at halftime, you know, how many have we been like this? Especially the starting five. How many have they been in like that, where they've had to grind and be smart on offense? And there isn't a whole lot of highlight film plays. But Cam really gave us a great lift, and I was so glad to see him be part of that in the second half. To and he was as much a part of it defensively, you know, his, his attention to detail. He had to be because these guys are running their stuff and they're screening us. It was a defensive drill for 40 minutes. I think it takes your legs a little bit offensively when you have to chase. But um, uh, love how the old guys played, and I love that Cam got a taste of that in the second half to kind of give us some breathing room. Does it reach a point there for you in the second half where, okay, I'm going to go with my five main guys and b and Sherman, and, and those seven yeah. are going to have to go win yeah. the game for you? Yeah, and, and I really was feeling six. You know, I, I, you know, I kind of felt it was hard to play too many big guys. And what I want to play our big guys together, but I put Sherman in a tough spot. He was chasing the shooter around the whole first half, and I don't know how fair. That, that's a little bit of – so we went small, and but um, but yeah, I mean those are our seven. And then after that, right now there's not a whole lot left. I would have loved to get Zach August uh, some more minutes, but that didn't present itself. Uh, but he's only been back in practice three days, so he needs a good week of practice before we get going next week. But those seven are pretty good. No coincidence that you scheduled this team for this last exhibition oh, yeah. game. Right? Yeah, no, no. This was this. I mean, they, you know, yeah, it's a Catholic school and it's great, and that's been a nice PR move that we've done. These guys can play. Yeah. And Martin said, like, they they won thirty. I said, bring them in here, and they're going to run their stuff, and they're going to grind us. First half, they did to us what we've done to teams, where long possessions on offense, and then we went down in quick shot, and then had to guard for twenty five seconds, and. That's kind of how we played at times. And the second half, I told him, I said, I want us to grind them a little bit. I want to see us not burn, but semi-burn a little and to get it into the low post late. And we were a little better there offensively, but we were very good defensively to start the half. And those five guys kind of were like, ooh, we got some game pressure. This feels familiar. We got a guard. So it was good to feel that before Evansville comes in here. And what was the – you obviously talked defense at halftime. Yeah. So what was the emphasis there? You know, I talked D the whole – I just thought this was a team that was going to run their stuff and it was going to be a real challenge. Um, I'm not seeing – you know, the last time somebody shot like that was McElarney against Syracuse in here. The guy was rolling. Um, but it was getting through stuff, discipline defensively, not gambling. And can you concentrate defensively even though you haven't made a shot, even though we're not in a great – flow offensively can we be mentally tough enough to just get back and guard that starting five has done this before and tonight was a taste of uh oh we're gonna have to grind this one you didn't that kid on the scouting report he couldn't have been too prominent he made two threes all of last year <laughs> jack said he shot 17 percent from three yeah last year he made two and but the coach did tell coach martin inglesby he said we want him to be a shooter well whatever they did with him <laughs> he's a shooter baby he was and you know he was great i mean he he made tough ones over – and then, you know, he got loose on some stuff too. But uh, they, they're they really good. They do a heck of a job running their stuff. You're having to chase staggers. You're having to chase a flex cut. You're having to chase a ball screen. You're having to close out to shooters all the time. I mean, that was one two-hour defensive drill where you could really evaluate our team. And as much as Cam gave us a lift offensively, I, watching him defensively, he wasn't a liability. We could keep him in there and he could – chase all that stuff and that's a real test tonight so i felt that's a big step for him tonight when those shots go down early is it okay here we go we're, we're not we're going we're not going up by 60 tonight no and and you know it was funny it was funny i did an interview with their radio and the and the radio guy afterwards said hey coach do you ever talk to your team about how lemoyne beat syracuse i said that may have been the jinx right there he brought it up <laughs> but we i didn't before this game but i have when that's happened out there so when they're banging them down like that i'm saying here we go we're in one What's up with uh, Burgett? Uh, actually, someone came down on his ankle and stepped on it and bruised it uh, in practice, I want to say Wednesday or Thursday. So he's probably out a couple more days. I think maybe midweek we'd get him back in practice. And so know. now you have to think about playing time. Is, yeah. is August in that discussion yeah, at all? Well, or? I think, you know, I'd like to, you know, I, well, one of the things I, Tom and I were talking the other day at practice, I said, you know, and I, you know, I don't know if we have to make any grand announcements if we're going to put anybody on a five-year program right away. I mean, we can get into the season, and um, if it, pe it works out where a guy hasn't played for four or five games, then you do it. Or do you make you put someone on a five-year plan 
with the option of pulling them off it if we get too thin. When we're right at 10 scholarship guys, which we are, it makes me a little nervous to go to nine for not a night, but for five months. So I think that's something we really have to digest. Now injuries sometimes make that decision for you. And it's funny how two guys have been in that boat. We, you know, the day we get Zach back, Burgett goes down. Um, but you know, we'll we'll analyze it end of next week and you know see what's best for those guys. And you know, I think back. Rob Kurz was the tenth guy on a ten-man team. Should he have redshirted? Yeah, because he never really got to play. But I was worried we'd need him. Um, Ryan Ayers was the tenth guy. Should he? You know, yeah, but you may need him. So who knows? But uh, we got a week still to evaluate it. Coach, what did you learn about your team during the exhibition season? Well, you know, I, I mean, I, I know how those those starting those starters have played a lot together, and they're very confident together. What I've learned is that Garrick and Cameron have joined that fairly smoothly, and Cameron has joined it smoother than I thought he would by this time. I thought it would be more more of a work in progress, but he's been very accepted by his teammates. You see how they interact with him out there and how they help him because they know we really need him to do what we want to do. But I've been impressed with how those two guys have joined those five, and it's smooth when we kind of move them in and out of the game. Thanks, guys. Thanks.